Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel and today we have a really interesting exponential equation a to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 130 and let's try to solve it. First of all, let's rewrite this 8 as 2 cube. We can do this because it's really great to work with same base. Right here we have base of 8, base of 2, it's not that good. Let's write this 8 as, as 2 cube. We can do this. So we have 2, we raise this to the third power and equal to the power x. Okay, so plus 2 to the x equal to 130. So this is our first step. What we're going to do next? We should know a really great property. It's someone called this rule of interchange. This is like a power rule, okay? So if we have a to the power m raised to the power n, okay? We can write it as a to the power m times n. Okay, we, oh, everyone know about it. If we read this, we just multiply m times n. But in the same way, because of a product, we can easily change position. So n times m. And final step, we can easily write it in another way. We can easily write it as a to the power n raised to the power m. Okay, so we can easily change this m and n by places because we have all the time equal signs. So we can easily change position of m and n. And this goes outside of parentheses, this goes inside. Okay, so as a result, we have right here. So this is our first step. Uh, this is our, our second step. So let's write this as 2 to the power x to the power 3 plus... 2 to the power x equal to 130. Okay, this is our expression right now. What are you going to do next? 2 to the power x and 2 to the power x, we can easily work with substitution because uh, it's it's better for us, okay? It simplifies us a lot, okay? So we have let 2 to the power x equal to, for example, let's work with y. For example, y t doesn't matter. So as a result, we have the next, the next equation. So we have y cube, y cube plus y, equal to 130. Okay, this is our expression right now. And this is like a cubic equation. Let's let's solve this a little bit. First of all, let's bring this constant from, from right to left. So we have y cube plus y and minus 130 equal to zero. Okay, this is cubic equation. And right now it's really great moment because 130 can be written as a product. So 130 can be written as 26 times so as a result, let's write a y as 26y minus 25y. Okay, let's change y by this by this expression. It changed nothing, but in the future it helps us a lot. So as a result, what do we have right here? We have y cube. Instead of this y, let's write this expression. It changed nothing, but as you can see right here, we have plus. So we have plus 26y minus 25y minus 25y and minus 130, minus 130, okay, equal to, equal to zero. Okay, right here, let's change position a little bit. Let's change this to a minus 25 by minus second position and this to the third position, okay? So what do we have right here? We have y cube minus 25y plus 26y and minus 130 equal to zero. And right now, if you look closely, y cube and y, we can easily factor from here our y. So let's do this. So what do we have right here? We can easily factor, okay? So we have y. Inside parentheses, we have right here y square minus minus 5, okay? And right here, 26 and 130, we can easily cancel from here 5 because we express this as a product. So as a result, we can cancel. We can factor from here 26. And inside parentheses, we have y minus 5, which is equal to 0. So this is all known formula. This is y square minus minus 25, sorry, right here. Yeah, we factor in. And right here, we can easily express this y square minus 5 square. As a result, we can write it as y minus 5 and y plus 5. Okay, so we have right here y. And inside parentheses, we have our parentheses. Or let's write something like that, these brackets. We have a product of, of y minus 5 and times y plus 5. Okay, this is our our formula right here. So instead of this y square minus 25, we write this formula. And plus 26, and right here we have the same y minus 5, equal to 0. Okay, so right here we have we have uh, the sum of two like expressions, and in one expression we have y, y minus 5 right here, yeah? And in second expression we have the same y minus 5, so we can easily factor our y minus 5. Okay, so let's do this. So right here we have y minus 5, and inside parentheses, we have right here, we still have y and y plus 5. So we have y times y plus 5. Okay. And uh, the next we have plus 26 because right here we, we factor this y minus 5. So we still have 26. So plus 26, which is equal to 0. 
Okay, so right here, let's simplify this a little bit. So we have y minus 5. And we have in, in another parenthesis, we have y square plus 5y. So we have y square plus 5y and plus 26 equal to 0. So finally, we factor out a challenge. We have two parentheses. And let's uh, solve this because parentheses equal to 0. So the product equal to 0 then when uh, one expression equal to 0 or another expression equal to 0. So let's divide it by two places. And let's start, for example, with this one, with quadratic equation. So we have y square plus 5y plus 26 equal to 0. Okay, so let's solve this. First of all, let's find discriminant because this is a very, very interesting moment right now because if we plug in all of this A, B, and C, uh, let's let's plug in it. So we have right here B square, 5 square, minus 4 times A equal to 1 and times we have C equal to 26, which is equal to, so right here we have 25, 25 minus, we have 4 times uh, 26, this is equal to 104, yeah, so minus 104, which is equal to minus 79, and everyone should know about it, because when discriminant equal to negative value, so right here, so discriminant is a negative, so right here we have no real roots, so no real roots, real roots. I can easily find it, but it's that hard because we had a substitution two to the x equal to y right here. So, for example, imagine we have we have a, we have a complex value. So it's it's really hard to find the complex root, and it's not necessary for us because we can easily find a real root. I will find it a little bit later. So no real roots right here, but so let's write it. We should mention it. So right here, but two complex root. So right here we have two complex two complex roots. Okay, so if someone don't know about complex numbers, you can easily solve it, you can easily train your complex number skill, you can easily find these two roots, it's really interesting. We don't have, like, right here, real roots, what about this, y minus 5 equal to 0, so right here we have y minus 5 equal to 0, and y equal to, y equal to 5. Okay, this is our y, but what about substitution, where do we have this substitution? We have this right here, 2 to the x equal to y, and let's find it, so right here, 2 to the x so right here we have 2 to the x equal to y. How can we how can we find this uh, solution? 2 to the x equal to y, but y equal to 5. So we have equation 2 to the x equal to 5. Let's solve this. How can we solve it? Let's apply log on both sides. This is the best uh, trick right here. Okay, let's apply log on both sides. So we have log 2 to the x equal to log log 5. Okay, this is our, our expression right now. And this x jump right here comes down right here because this is the main log property. X can easily can be written right here behind this log. So we have X log 2, X log 2 equal to log equal to log 5. Okay, right now let's divide both sides by log 2 because we have X right here. This is a constant, this is a constant. So if we divide both sides by this log 2, for example, on the left hand side log 2 and on the right hand side we have log 2. Okay, we can easily cancel this log 2 from this side because this is absolutely the same constant. And as a result, we have that our x, x equal to log 5 over log log 2. Log 5 over log 2. But maybe someone mm, interested in, uh, in uh, simplifying this expression. So for example, uh, we have this product, but I want to start with this first rule. If we have log a right here, base of c, and we divide this by log right here b base of c, we can easily write it as log a base of b. So we can easily write this expression according to this rule as, um, so if we write in this log in another way, we can easily write this log as log according to this rule, 5 base of 2. And this is our this is our answer to this challenge right here, but if some, maybe someone interested in approximately value, so this is our approximately value to this challenge, so we have 2.2. 2.32. This is approximately value to this challenge. So let's write a whole answer to this challenge. We have answer. Answer. We have x equal to log 5 base of 2 or someone interested in approximately value which is approximately equal to 2.32. This is our solution to this challenge. So a great challenge. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel according to these challenges, so I hope you will enjoy it. Also write your question down in the comment section. Also, 
write your solution to this second part with complex root it will be really interesting and it's really it's really hard to be honest because right here we have 2 to the x equal to y for example imagine you have a complex value right here so it looks like with e you can easily handle with it when you find two complex root with 2 to the x equal to one of these and then with with log i guess or with like natural log doesn't matter you will solve it or with e i guess with e you can easily solve this uh, complex numbers but we're interested in real number root so i hope you you understand this explanation. Thank you for your time. See you in the next videos. Have a great day and take care.